a certain Sir? change in dancer less dance that. Okay, so the dancer has a last dance at that is initiated to sometime in 2001. And if we do a dance, it will set it to now. So it will be different than this one. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, so should we... we... Yeah. Yes, we need a dancer. Yeah. We can maybe uh, just copy that. Yeah. yeah. And do we want to save it? I guess if we want to do a database. Stuff. Yeah. So should we, what, what, what do we want to test here? Do we want to test that if we have if we have a dancer and make it dance, it would be different than the one we have in the database. Uh, yes, or we want to test an update operation here. Uh, doesn't need to be complicated. Okay, so we just want to uh, first store it and then uh, see that it has changed when you yeah. are. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so, so store it, then I guess we make it dance. Like that, and then save it again. Mm -hmm. Or, um, yeah, was it save or? Or maybe we don't do, do you do we need to fetch it first? It That's should it. should be the same ID since we set the ID, right? So do we need to fetch it? Uh, so there is one thing about reactive streams. Uh, hmm. A stream in this form when it's mono, it's actually not a, a stream will actually get executed when it has a subscriber is subscribing to it, but there's no subscription happening now. So just dance repository that saves doesn't do anything. Ah, okay. It's just the potential. So you need to subscribe to it. What to the to this one. Yeah. But if you subscribe like that, then you don't know when it's finished. What what oh. what else you can do? You can ah. So can I on this one do um, something to then then do the dance? Is it is block a bad? Uh, block is fine when you are testing. Mm -hmm. But I, that's let, let's avoid it. So we want to use a step verifier, and okay. uh, there is one way to actually keep it keep keep everything one a stream. So we save and we want to save an update in one stream if if possible, and then only check the result of that stream in the step verifier at the end. So after the save, we want to change some. Update command. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what's that? Um, yeah, what's that? <laughs> what's it? E in no insert no. Two after. So it's. JPA in JPA you only have save. You don't it not, it's not JPA, but it's similar to JPA. So you only have save and save. There is no update or insert. Mm -hmm. uh, but as you yeah. can see now, save is returning a, a stream itself. So you want to grab the uh, data that is coming from the first save, do a change on it, and then save it again. Mm. All right, so Shane, uh, save. 
but we first want to do a dance on it so exactly can i do uh, this one uh so the do methods are not in the stream they are like another thread so to say you want to you have a value you want to change it it means that your value is being mapped to another value do you remember map and flat map uh no <laughs> So, uh, so do we do we need to map this one? Yes. Uh, so we and now we have a dancer here. But, or actually I could probably do something like that. Exactly. So and um, then that and then map or now I do I need uh, can I do Something like this, or is that so? Uh, mm, what object is are you mapping? Now? Yeah, that is true. So, I what I'm thinking is we map it to a dance mm -hmm. and then. Yeah. We still have the stream, so we want to save it again, right? Yes. And the save operation returns a different stream than the stream that you are in, but they are still related. So it's like turning water to electricity, if you remember that session. So you need to do a map instead, but it's another type of map. map. So it's like a flat map, exactly. You are flattening the stream that is inside the flat map. So now I'm trying to follow along. So we say we do, we get this from the save. We have the mono stream. So we map to do a dance on that. Mm -hmm. Why do we? Why do we have two streams? Uh, the other stream is the stream from the next save because you also want to save the danced. So let, let, let me annotate. So mm -hmm. uh, here you have a dancer. It's just mm -hmm. initiated. Yeah. You save it here. And mm -hmm. when you save it here, it's saved in the database. And when you uh, come to this line, the one that is saved in the database will execute a dance method. Mm -hmm. So now it's not saved in the database anymore, mm -hmm. uh, unless some JPA magic is happening, but I guess we don't have JPA magics here, <laughs> fiber mm -hmm. magics here. So you have a dancer that has danced and you want to save it in database. So you get it in the flat map, and now you have to save it. That's the save operation now. Yeah, but why is it, why does it need a flat map? Why? Uh, why? So what what does this save is returning? Mm -hmm. The save is returning a mono. Mm -hmm. That's why you can actually add a map at the end of it, and you want to use the same function. So uh, let, let's do like this: remove the flat map and do dot map. Ah, uh, so. But uh, this one. Yeah, yeah, just, just do a map. Uh -huh. And just do repository and uh, column, column, save. This is what you think it should be. And then do a dot at the end. and block so you are blocking but you are still returning a mono so if you can do another block at, after that and it still works now you have the raw type so this one oh, i annotate again uh, this one this save is returning a mono if you want mm. to put 
a mono inside another string, if you want to chain them, you need to flatten the new one so that it becomes one string. Like, okay, but I thought that was, if I put the flat map here, um, map, but I was flat mapping the result from this. No, no, it's flat mapping the results, the thing that is inside the flat map. Ah, okay. So, uh, oh. and this is, this needs to be yeah. the instance sign. Yeah, but it's the dot dot, the, the column column. Yeah. Okay. You need the blocks, the blocks for both of them for. Mm. So, okay, so we save it and then on the mono we get back, we pick out the dancer and do a dance on it. And then we go into it. I still, I still have a hard time. But could we this. have done like the, if we re would remove the map? Or uh, yeah, could it could we have done a map dancer repository save mm. uh, instead of the like dancer? Actually, you can pass a mono to these reactive repositories as well. But I thought maybe that confused you more. This is very similar to JPA. Uh, mm. uh, if you, I guess you don't remember flat map correctly, that you're confused. Yeah, I think so. What does it really do? Oh, wow. Um, yeah. I mean, this isn't really working as like yeah, Java streams. Uh, it's the same because in Java streams, you can also flat map a, a stream into another stream. At the end, you will have one stream. You don't have a stream of a stream. If you do a map, you have a stream of a stream, but you only want one stream, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, but. What? Okay. Aha, uh -huh. so wait, okay. So what you're saying is here we get a mono back. Yeah. And yeah. then we, we, the flat map will unwrap the mono, call the save, and then we get the mono back. But also, yeah. now I start to. Mm. No, we have one. So then we are actually flat mapping the result of this one. From from there we get the money of a dancer. Or right, I think so, right? We we get something like that from this map. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. And we, we put that in here and it will unwrap it will flatten the mono. To an actual yeah. answer and call the save method with without the mono. Is yeah. that right? It it flattens the mono that comes from the save. But does it come from the save or from the map? From the save. How can that be? Because, because we have already mapped it. Uh, but here we have a mono. I can't do much of drawing here. So uh, the first save returns the mono, nothing has happened. It's just the mono inside that mono that nothing has happened. You say that you should do a map as well. What is the map? You make the dancer dance. Nothing has happened yet because there is no subscriber, but you might have a dancer that has danced. 
and that dancer that has danced, you want to save it. So it's a mono. You can subscribe to it and save it. But the result of the save is another mono. You want to chain all these operations together so that it's one layer of one level of mono, one level of a stream. The last thing that you want to do, the save, that's the unnecessary layer in a sense. So you want to flatten that into the previous mono that you already have. But I mean, how would this be different from if I do uh, do it like this? Uh, if I say one here, and then I'll just uh, do like. If I say, if I take him one step at a time, there is no difference. Right, but that's what I, that's what I don't understand because to me then it looks like uh, this step would be uh, this one. Isn't it? So you didn't it, change anything now, basically. Yeah, and that's what I think is. Um, so that's why I don't understand why you say it's the stream from the save, because it's the result from the map that happens to be a mono. That's fine. Not a flat map. Mm. Yeah. The map is a mono because it's happening inside a mono because it's initiated like so here you have a mono and then you want to do something on the data inside the mono in the next step you do a map operation on it so mm -hmm. it's a mono because you are doing the map inside the mono the, the operation is happening inside the mono the map is there so that you can do some changes on the data in the mono uh, but what if your operation is asynchronous itself as well? So you, 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 you need to subscribe to each of your monos, each of your streams. If you subscribe mm -hmm. inside a subscribe, it becomes a callback here. So you want to actually do one subscribe at the end only. So every new, op on every new reactive operation that you want to add to your stream, that should be flattened so that it can attach to the same flow. It's the same as streams in the Java eight. Mm -hmm. what, yeah. What? Uh, so I, I think we. I think I understand what's going on. What I didn't understand was uh, because I, I'm, I'm in my head. This flat map works on the result from the map, and it doesn't really matter that it was a save up here, All right? But the, the map comes from the mono that is here. There is no map otherwise. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, but it's, yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I think I understand, but it's the... I so, so, so we we're probably doing the water electricity session again we had it in the first season mm -hmm. yeah then, then you will get the idea again uh, yeah. there is one thing that actually will help here this mm -hmm. name maybe you want to update the name here because it's not only save so no. something like resaved yeah exactly or updated okay. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, if All you... right, and then uh, we are going to want, want to do something similar, I think. Yeah. Why is it uh, complaining? Is it because we haven't verified or done anything with it yet, or uh, what's the? Um, 
counseling. Yeah. Uh, so we expect now that this will be this would be later like the dance or what what could we get from the class yeah. I, if you want it easier you can do another map and change the style of the dance then uh, you don't have to you can just then check the equality of the dance type otherwise you have to do because now you have only mm. changed time in the dancer mm. makes it a little hard to compare we can compare uh, like just say it's uh, greater than something or oh, yeah yeah of course cool. yeah. maybe yeah i thought so but, but you can't use expect next anymore you know uh, a special assertion now. yeah so expect oh what do we have mm. can i Is, is well, there next? Why can't we use next? Aha, uh -huh, just next. No, uh, I was asking why. Uh, because it will only give you uh, an instance to compare to, right? Mm -hmm. and, and we don't have a specific instance we can compare to. We, we want to check the values inside the instance. Exactly. So, assert next, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and maybe we can say the answer. You actually need an assertion there. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, that it's a still a consumer, but then you put assertion or, yeah, I think so. Here. Assert. Uh -huh. yeah. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And which one do we want? Uh, the, or the assert. Subject. Yeah, assert J. Let's go for assert J. Assert true, maybe. Yeah, that's actually maybe better. I thought. Uh, ah, yeah. Okay. Is uh, is before or what was the? Mm. Now, which which one do you want? Uh, last dance. Uh, which uh, as a true version do we want? Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Do we... What yeah, do you? The first... No, no, the second one. Sorry, the second. Ah, one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. so they are very similar, but one of them is private, one of them is public. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, and now it works better. Is uh, after, uh, and we know that this one was this. Yeah. So it's a local date, but we want local date time. I think you can just add a dot and there was something yeah. like this, yeah. Exactly. Uh, so yeah. 
So that's your assertion, which is good, but you, you're missing one parenthesis at the end. Uh -huh. Mm. Zoom is not letting me type. So there. But it does, aha, uh -huh, and it doesn't like that. Um, so updated dancer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You try to run it. Yeah. No. What's the issue? <laughs> mm. it didn't the assertion go through? Where is the can click okay. on the yes? Here is your Stack trace. Let's see. Yeah. Duplicate key. Ah, that. Ah, uh, yeah. Because we already. Oh, why? Because it start restarted. Uh yeah. This is this is the issue with uh this um, JPA and that persistable. Because if you go inside the dancer, I didn't try update myself. So. Uh, this persistable, uh, when you implement when you implement that, you have to implement two methods. One is get ID, which is like of course, and then what is, one is is new. So each time that you call save, this is new is called to check if you what you are trying to save is new or not. And I came up with a like weird logic, uh, which apparently is buggy. I see. So it's. Uh, if okay, so if the you, you thought if it's after this, mm -hmm. it's a new one, yeah, but it will always be like that be after this, yeah. So, should it be the same? Uh -huh. Yes, that's that's a good point. Yeah, exactly. It should be the same. Yeah. So you can change. But it might still an ID. This won't happen anyway because we always yes. have an ID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remove the ID check part because. But what is that like to check if it doesn't exist in the database? Sorry. What is that uh, is new? Is it to check if it uh, doesn't exist in the database? So each time you call update or each time you call save on your repository, it's the same in JPA. Uh, JPA doesn't know or your R2DVC repository doesn't know if this object is new so that it should use insert or if it's not new so that it should use update. This yeah. is new that we are implementing here, uh, returns a Boolean. So if it's new, it uses insert. If it's not, it will use update. Uh, but the logic that I put in the is new is wrong. So it checks if the ID is blank, but ID never gonna be blank. So that part is actually wrong completely. And then it, it's checking if the last dance at is after some value and it will always be like that so uh it's like a 
So it will always try to insert. It never tries to update. So your idea bank, that was a good idea too. Yeah, but it didn't really help. <laughs> I re rerun. We can rerun again. But, but no, no, you did. You didn't change the actual condition. You should have changed this one. Uh huh. And so, then change the. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've, I've changed this one, but. So the the if it's. Ah, it's in, new. Is after so it. It's actually if, it's new if it's, if it is this date, right? Exactly. Yes. So. So you can do an exact check because both of them are uh, like, you can just do an exact check and copy paste whatever we have in the new dancer. Yeah. So this something like this. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another way would be to let, let the database generate the ID and then, mm. and then have the blank ID. Yeah. So, or then you wouldn't have a persistable at all. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Or you could okay. use the other APIs to do insert. I just used, we, we are just using repository, but mm -hmm. uh, the operations API is actually more interesting. I didn't bring it here because it's just too much for one session. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a, it has a very cool way of querying actually. So you don't write query as uh, SQL query. You write query as Java code. So you mm -hmm. like have select, you have and, like these are Java codes that you call. Kind of cool. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. see, great. So, so now it passed, nice. Yes. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Nice.